Well, obviously, people are our most important asset. I mean, that is how we're able to do what we do. We desperately need a well-rounded employee. We don't want robots. I mean, just somebody who can stand there and punch buttons. It's got to be somebody who can problem solve. There's no doubt that businesses are going to be competing for the best and the brightest. Um, the best and the brightest is also going to be that student who can think innovatively and who can think creatively. So we must be preparing a workforce that can push the limits, who can knock down the walls and find creative solutions. I want my employees to be educated in certain sectors within uh, technology and in a certain level of the arts to bring that creative and imaginative skill set to them. ArtSmart's a fabulous program of both professional development and arts integration and arts resources that goes into the schools, into the classrooms, and also connects with all of the entities and all of the events that happen here with Texarkana Regional Arts and Humanities Council, which we call TRAC. We are a division of TRAC. We are the education division. TRAC's mission is to grow people and community through the arts. ArtSmart's mission is educational excellence through the arts. So everything that we do, there's a strong educational component tied directly to the school curriculum. We partner with 34 school campuses, which encompasses eight different school districts. Every year we probably have 40,000 student contacts and about 5,000 teacher contacts for services directly related to performing arts, uh, arts in the classrooms, and arts integrated lessons. The integration of arts can be done through science, math, reading, social studies, of course in art, the fine arts, physical education, spelling. You can utilize the arts in any academic area to help children learn. They may teach a lesson about reading and then the children draw a picture, paint a picture, create a poem, anything to go along with the story that they've read then they do a writing about the art that they did. Uh, this is a, a different step for children, but it's a great hands-on opportunity. Well, in a standard traditional classroom, students face the front, get their books out, write answers, and, and express themselves on paper. While some students may do well that way, others' is, research has proven that children can recall, retain information through movement. Well, my students, we've been talking about physical and chemical changes as we moved into states of matter and the periodic table. I felt like if they had the opportunity to express this through movement, it might make it more clear. Every student learns in a different way, whether it's you know touching, feeling something, hearing it, seeing. And that's what the arts is so good about is it encompasses all of that. We can't sit in, in rows like when we did when we were going to school. These children just do not. They're 21st century learners. They have to be up. They have to be talking. They have to be involved or they have no involvement at all in what's going on. One of the things you have to see is a pro theater. Uh, it's a architectural landmark. It's a work of art in itself, I think, both inside and out and uh, something that we're very proud of. It also just happens to be the facility in which TRAC, the Texas County Regional Arts and Humanities Council, puts on so many artistic venues. We present six to nine shows a year for school children. So we had uh, over 15,000 students who were here who saw performances just last year. What the Pro Theater Series does for children and students is it gives them that opportunity to explore those areas that they may not have been exposed to by their parents. Schools arrange it, they come, they see a show. Prior to their coming and seeing that show, their teachers have been sent material, so they're familiar with the show. They're, they talk about what's going to happen on the stage and why it's happening on the stage. So there's definitely a message in each of these performances for young audiences or performances for children. Our business does some grants we recently, I read one last week from a mother who said, my son went and saw a symphony at the Perot. And by seeing that, he has now joined the band and he's taken up this, one of the horns is what he was in, interested in. And you wonder, how does that change his life?
It paints a better picture in my mind and it helps me understand um, the, com the concept of the um, book or um, math homework. Working with arts have made me better at working with others. When you work with the arts, it makes it easier. And when you act something out or you sing or something or make up a song or movement to something, it sticks in your brain better. Just watching the kids and going into a classroom when they're doing the arts, they're all engaged. They're all definitely learning. There's a buzz in the room because they're going to talk a little bit, but most of the buzz is about the art. You're nurturing those kids, those young adults who have dreams and ideas of creativity, entrepreneurship that have not been there before. If they're going to learn it and retain that information, then they're going to achieve, they're going to become more successful. And it definitely will carry out into the real world. We do see higher test scores. We do see improved student behavior in the classrooms. We see lower absenteeism. We see teachers more enthusiastic about showing up for their school day also. We see students working collaboratively with others. We see classrooms that are well managed. Learning doesn't have to be in straight rows all the time. The skills and principles of arts help play on with all of the other principles that we all learn in school, the sciences and the languages, and form a more rounded employee that can better serve us. And that is vital. <laughs>